Good morning, everyone. Today we will start talking about reading part of the 101 course. Today we have skill one, answer main idea questions correctly. So we're talking about questions about the ideas of the passage. We're not talking about specific details or not talking about vocabulary questions. We're just dealing with main idea questions. Now skill one, answer main idea questions correctly. Almost every reading passage in the TOEFL test or computer TOEFL test will have a multiple choice question about the main idea of the passage. Such a question may be worded in a variety of ways. You may, for example, be asked to identify the topic, subject, title, primary ideas, or main idea. So, we're dealing with questions that ask you about the topic or the subject, the title, or the primary ideas or the main idea of the sentence. Now we will look deeply into this uh, skill and to see how to answer the questions that deal with main idea correctly. If we look at the example from uh, the book, we will see the question. The question is, what is the topic of this passage? So, in all reading questions, or all reading uh, tests, we should read the question first, identify what the question wants, then to go back to the text and to find where the correct answer is. So, when we ask about the topic of this passage, we have to read on the first sentence of each paragraph in the passage. Now, in this passage in front of us, we only have one paragraph. So, by reading the first sentence of this paragraph, we might conclude the main idea of the whole passage. First, read the choices and then go back to the text, to the place where the uh, skill is, and then read it carefully. Then. Uh, exclude the, uh, the definitely wrong answers and choose the best answer from the remaining choices. Now, A, the intelligence of John Dewey. B, distinctions made by John Dewey. C, Dewey's ideas on the ability to reason. D, how intelligence differs from reasoning in Dewey's works. So these four choices are reflecting the ideas presented in the text, but only one of them is the main or the topic of the passage. If you look back, if you look at the paragraph and then we read the first sentence, we see, in the philosophy of John Dewey, a sharp distinction is made between intelligence and reasoning. So, a sharp distinction is made between intelligence and reasoning in the philosophy of John Dewey. So is the whole passage talking about only the intelligence of John Dewey? Definitely not. Is the passage only talking about Dewey's ideas on the ability to reason or reasoning? Just like that? Of course not. Because we are talking about the distinctions made between intelligence and reasoning at the same time. Now we only have B and D. Distinctions made by John Dewey? or how intelligence differs from reasoning in Dewey's works. Now, B is too general, and it's not talking about the intelligence and reasoning. It's just saying, like, distinctions are made by Dewey. So Dewey made a lot of things in his philosophy and talked about a lot of things. Can we just say it's, there are only distinctions in general? Of course not, because this is not a title. This is the topic of the passage. So the topic is actually more wordy than the title. The title is, all, is, is, is um, short, brief, and precise, and up to the point the whole time. But when we talk about the topic or the main idea, we have to be a little bit more elaborate, and we have to add all the details we might uh, see in the, uh, in the topic. So, B, distinctions made by John Dewey is too general, and it might work for a title, but not a topic in the passage. But when you look at D, how intelligence differs from reasoning in Dewey's works, this is more comprehensive. It deals with all the ingredients mentioned in the first two lines of the passage, and it's definitely the topic of the passage. Now, we have another example where we have actually two body paragraphs. 
Now we're not, we're not dealing just with one small paragraph, now we have two. So if we have two paragraphs in the passage, we have to read the first sentence of each paragraph to figure out the subject or the title of the passage. Now, which of the following would be the best title for the passage? So if you notice that title is actually, um, should be short, brief, precise, and very comprehensive. But when we look at the topic of the passage, it should be a little bit more elaborate and more wordy. Now we have four choices, the process of nitrogen fixation, two nitrogen processes, the return of nitrogen to the air, and the effect of nitrogen on a plant life. Let's take a look at the first sentence of each of the two paragraphs. Sentence one, nitrogen fixation is a process by which nitrogen is continuously fed into biological circulation. If you look at the second paragraph, the, op the opposite process of deintrification returns nitrogen to the air. So we have nitrogen fixation is a process where nitrogen is continuously fed into biological circulation, and then we have an oppos and the opposite process, which is in deintrification. So can we see? Can we say that it is only about the process of nitrogen fixation? The whole paragraph is dealing with only the process of nitrogen fixation. Of course, this is not correct. Are we talking about only the return of nitrogen to the air, which is mentioned in the second paragraph? The whole text is talking about the idea only mentioned in the second paragraph? Of course, it is incorrect. Now, we only have two choices. Two nitrogen processes or the effect of nitrogen on plant life. The word effect, the word plant life is not even mentioned in the first sentences of each of the pa paragraphs in the passage. So we only have one choice that is correct. It is number B or number two, which is two nitrogen processes. We're dealing with two nitrogen processes. This is the best title for this passage because we're talking about nitrogen fixation and then we talk about deintrification. Now, how to identify the question? The question asks you about the, what is the topic of the passage or the subject of the passage, the main idea of the passage, the main point of the passage, with what is the author primarily concerned, which of the following would be the best title. So here we're talking about all of the questions that might be asked, that you might be asking the question, and then you have to answer them exactly the same way we answered the example. So where to find the answer? The answer to this type of question can generally be determined by looking in the first sentence of each paragraph. Now how to answer the question? You have to read the first line of each paragraph in the passage, look for a common theme or idea in the first lines, pass your eyes quickly over the rest of the passage to check that you've really found the topic sentence or sentences, eliminate any definitely wrong answers and choose the best answer from the remaining choices. So you have to read the first line, you have to look for a common theme among all these lines of the passage, you have to pass your eyes quickly to make sure you found the topic sentence and then eliminating the definitely wrong answer will help you a lot in finding the correct answer because Instead of having 25% for each choice, you will have like 50-50% for the remaining choices, which makes it a lot easier. Now we have an example for passage one. Which of the following best describes the topic of the passage? The city of Fort Knox, Kentucky, the federal gold depository, the US Army post at Fort Knox, or gold bullion? Now we have to read the first sentence of the paragraph, and we only have one paragraph in this passage. Fort Knox, Kentucky is the site of U.S. Army post, but it is even more renowned for the Fort Knox Bullion Depository, the massive vault that contains the bulk of the U.S. government's gold deposits. Now, is the sentence talking about the city of Fort Knox, Kentucky? If you look back again at the sentence, it is the site of U.S. Army post, Knox Bullion Depository, the bulk of government's gold deposits. We're talking about gold, we're talking about government, we're talking about U.S. Army Post, and then we talk about Kentucky. So are we talking about the city of Fort Knox? It's not about the city, because if we 
talking about the city of Fort Knox, we will find like words or descriptions of the population, the weather, the atmosphere, the, um, the sites you might find there, but it's not like that. Are we talking about gold bullion? Are we talking about its weight, about its shape, its size, how much it costs, or how much it is? No, we're, talk no, we're not talking about gold bullion because we're talking about a lot of things that where gold bullion is actually included in the idea. Now, we only have B and C. Are we talking about the Federal Gold Depository or just the U.S. Army Post? We're just talking about the sentence actually uh, preceded by the first comma, the site of your army post, and you see, it's placed between two commas, like this sentence is not even important. So, are we talking about the army post? Of course, we're not talking about the army post. We're talking about a lot of things, because we don't read for the comma, we read until the first full stop, which means this is where the topic sentence ends in the sentence. So, we're talking about government's goal. We're talking about the U.S. Army Post and the Kentucky and all this stuff. So we're talking about B, federal, which is government, gold, which is the thing that is common and recurrent in the, in the sentence, and we're talking about the depository where it's kept, it's kept in Fort Knox, Kentucky. So B is actually includes all of the ingredients mentioned in the first sentence of the paragraph. Now, if you look at two, which of the following would be the best title? Of course, the best title will be reflected from the topic. Are we talking about the massive concrete vault, Fort Knox security, where the United States keeps its gold, or a visit to Kentucky? Now, the Federal Gold Depository is the same as where the United States keeps its gold. So it has the same meaning. So this is the correct answer. Now, everyone, this is all about skill one in answer main idea questions correctly. If you have any question or any idea or anything that you didn't understand or grasp in this video, you can pass by my office or uh, text me on Moodle. See you next time.